Right, so we're back with chapter three. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, we're not going to be reading this whole chapter because basically this is the fourth time I've done this video and the, all the, th the past three times I've d done this, actually reading it, I've watched the video back and it has made no sense. However, I've sort of sat down, I've gone through this chapter multiple times and it is an important chapter to understand because as I've said before, um, naturopathy, which again Glidden is a student of, follows the teachings of the four humours. Now again, the four, the four humours are is a, basically a pre-scientific um, idea of how we got ill. The idea of it is that there are uh, four um, fluids in our body, uh, blood, uh, black bile, light bile and phlegm and the idea is that all these substances uh, keep balance in our body uh, they also represent elements as well, earth, fire, water and air, uh, yeah earth, yeah earth, fire, water and air and the idea is that they essentially these things, when they're kept balance, you're fit and healthy. If they go out of balance, well, the idea is that you either need um, more heat because you're too cold, so you're out of balance. And you know, if you're too, uh, if you're coming with a fever, then you need to get cooler. The you know, blah 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 blah. So remember, this entire um, naturopathy is based on the four humors. Now. The reason why I say this chapter is important, and again, like I said, we're not going to read it, but there's just some parts here that I think are important to uh, pick out and read, because again, it, it, these just shows what a quack not only Glidden is, but other people that subscribe and you know follow this regime are. So, the first quote uh, we're using here is he says. Without negative stress, there would be no illness, no disease, and no death. Yes, you just heard me right. Glidden says that without stress, there would be no disease, illness, or death. Why? Because, again, what is stress? Again, remember, think for humours. With stress, he says that, basically, this is putting uh, pressure on, you know something inside you and again you uh, end up ill basically so this is um, what he says that you know there's to be two outcomes essentially now the first outcome is healthy and balanced with no symptoms stress exposure stress too weak to overpower our body's defenses no symptom generation, health persists. The other outcome is health balanced with no symptoms, stress exposure, stress overpowering our natural defenses and destabilizing the system, system symptoms generated, um, illness is born. So as you can see, this guy is basically saying that, you know, the four humours is a accurate representation of what should essentially be a proper medical system of a way to treat people. Remember, uh, you've already heard this guy's um, plea that you should be going to uh, state houses and you know, lobby, you know, lobby, lobbying your you know local um, lawmaker to make uh, this a legal medical practice but again how can you when he is you know advocating the you know stress and the four humors is a viable um you know theory for treating health it is not it is the furthest furthest thing you can get from it so there you go. That's that's essentially chapter three in a nutshell, and there's really no point uh, me reading any further. There really isn't in in that 
in that particular chapter. So the next chapter, chapter four, is, oh, hang on, we've lost the page. I still can't wait till we get to the Vital Force chapter. That's going to be hilarious. So the next chapter is is chapter four, the Little Shop of Suppression Horrors. And again, I've read ahead, but the little nit bits um, of it are essentially. He says that now we'll go. No, we'll wait till we'll wait till we do the video. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Chapter 3 people, remember like, comment, rate and remember to share this video to people to warn people against this asshole and his basically quack treatments.